Extending opening hours will decrease public order offences and ensure the ends of nights out run more smoothly. Give Us the Night, a representative for DJs and nightclub owners, are calling for licensing hours in nightclubs to be changed from the current closing time of 3am. Nightclubs must apply for a special exemption order to stay open later than standard opening hours at a cost of €410 Euros per night. Owen Lines, popular DJ and member of Give Us the Night, shared his thoughts on the issue. Current laws have to, and but, um, by that stage of the night, yeah, pe people are definitely tanked up, so putting them out onto the street at that time definitely isn't a good idea. But um, especially in Dublin, like, and the places that we'd be campaigning to keep open, like, people are there to hear the music, not to drink. And I feel like that's a huge thing um, that we have issue with because the, like, the Gardaí and, and the law, basically, their stance is that uh, all we want to do is drink and maybe um, abuse substances and stuff like that, which is not the case. Like, we just want longer hours to... Uh, um, to enjoy music. But if you look at any other European city um, in particular, like the, the licensing laws are completely different. Clubs stay up until the early hours of the morning, um, 6, 7 o'clock, especially places like Berlin and stuff like that. And uh, like, it, what I, like, aside from myself as a DJ getting more hours in a nightclub if, there were, if it was to open later, um, you also need to look at how like uh, longer opening hours would affect like tourism and stuff like that. It would attract more people in, which would mean um, more kind of people from foreign countries would see the likes of myself playing new venues and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, absolutely. I definitely think it uh, leads to more money and exposure. I think it will allow for the um, nightclub industry to like develop and to expand and stuff like that, and it will promote like kind of uh, growth, within, like kind of economic growth within that industry. There is antisocial behaviour because people are still kind of, um, they have energy because of that. Whereas if they're in the nightclub for longer, they're going to use their energy in there and then it won't be taken to the streets. Yeah, no, exactly. I think as well, like especially in places like Galway where every single nightclub is like, it finishes at the exact same time and everyone comes out into the streets. That's when it gets really dodgy. Um, but yeah, no, there is an awful lot of and energy and built up kind of aggression. Especially because you have different groups, like every nightclub might cater towards a certain niche. So each niche is bringing their own thing to the streets and that's where then tension might arise from. So I passed through myself only a year ago. You, you clearly see any social behaviour after nights out. Um, even take a shout out for, for example when, when it's finished. On the DCU camp it's usually quite quiet because there's um, security on, on patrol but uh, once you leave the DCU area and you kind of go to Shinoans that you do often see <coughs> might be severe anti-social behaviour but you do like, now loud, loud noises and noise complaints and yeah it's very evident that in some like some places after hours that they're after closing hours there's definite anti-social behaviour kind of depends where you go. Sarah Murphy DCU TV News.